is the Elementi Gooseneck Kettle. It is electric and designed specifically for pour over coffee. You can see it has a very similar look to the Bonavita variable temperature kettle. And there are some small differences, of course, one being the handle. The on switch here is far simpler. You basically just flip that switch and it will start heating up your water to the point of boiling. The base plate is also pretty thin when compared to the Bonavita. I'll show you a direct comparison in just a bit, but that is pretty much a general overview. So here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Bonavita variable temperature gooseneck kettle, the one I've been using for years, versus the Elementi. And you can see that the handle is different. I would say that the Bonavitas is slightly more ergonomic, whereas the Elementi, I experienced a little bit of discomfort when I was pouring kind of hand cramps. And then the base plate is much thicker for the Bonavita. Again, it has some more functionality. You can hold the temperature, of course, you can set the temperature and all that fun stuff. The cord is that long as you saw and it's pretty similar with the Elementi, maybe slightly longer. Now I'm gonna just do a quick speed test to see which one of these two kettles gets to boiling faster. All right so here we go with our speed test. Press the on button at the same time and we will be back once they get to boiling. Okay, so the water is getting very close to boiling for both kettles. You can see the cool thing about the Bonavita is that it just gives you live updates of the temperature. And of course, you could target specific temperatures as well. The Elementi is very straightforward. Again, you just flip that switch there on the right, and once it boils, it will automatically shut off. So it's a little bit higher maintenance in the sense that you have to be there right after it finishes boiling. With the Bonavita, and this is something that the wife does often leave it on hold and you can forget about the kettle as it will just maintain the temperature for quite a bit of time. I believe the auto shut off is within half an hour but I'll have to double check on that. So anyways we're getting close here and let's see which one reaches 212 degrees Fahrenheit first. So you can hear the Bona Vida kind of shut in on and off and that is to target a specific temperature. So once it gets close to the target Target, even if it's boiling, it's going to shut on and off. And the Elementi just finished slightly before the Bonavita, which is at 211, so very close to boiling, but again, not quite boiling. So in terms of speed, the Elementi in this test is a little bit faster. Again, it's just going to straight boil, so there's no kind of on-off mechanism to target a specific temperature. So if you're less concerned about doing that, then the Elementi is certainly a good option for an electric gooseneck kettle in terms of saving time. So let's take a quick look at how the Elementi pours. Of course, it's not gonna be too different from the Bonavita. One thing I did notice the first time I brewed with the Elementi was you see that little welding job, kind of a shoddy welding job if you ask me, right at the base of the gooseneck. Uh, I actually experienced some leaking. Now, I don't know if that was just a fluke or what because it didn't happen again, but I did notice that the attachment of the gooseneck itself didn't seem to be as properly manufactured as the Bonavita. So it isn't as high quality, I would say, but it does get the job done for a pretty low price. So the Elementi kettle, like the Bonavita, is a one liter capacity. So that should be plenty for your standard pour over with a Hario V60. Even a Chemex, pretty large quantity of coffee, that's enough water. So let me just tell you quickly what I like and dislike about the Elementi. I do like that it's easy to use and has a very low cost compared to some competitors. I like that it's electric and has an automatic shutoff. What I didn't like too much about the Elementi was the handle. I know it's nitpicky, but I did have some cramping going on in my hand while I was doing the pour over, and that wasn't something I ever really expected to experience. I also found that somewhat shoddy welding job at the base of the gooseneck could potentially lead to leakage. I only experienced it once, but just something to be aware of. Other than that, 
I didn't think that there were really too many issues with the LMNT, aside from maybe the base plate, which I got the sense was pretty low quality, very thin, and maybe that's just because I'm used to the Bonavita's massive base plate. But in any case, it would be easier for storage purposes to kind of hide that base plate, given how little it is. So there you have it, my friends, the LMNT electric gooseneck kettle for pour over coffee. It is very simple, inexpensive, and it will get your water boiling faster than the Bonavita. Thanks so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe, share, or leave your comment or review below. Thanks.